Hi guys, a uh, quick video uh, just to show you how to solder uh, your motors to your 2-in-1 ESCs. Uh, yeah, a little teaser here, this is the new 5-inch Atom. Uh, we will release the new frame kit for these, so those who use, if you buy the kit with the 3-inch, uh, later you'll be able to buy frames and then you can upgrade as you please. Anyway, well, there goes canopy. It's pretty simple. ESC points are on the front and the back, um, so the top ESC just under the flight controller, that's for motors 1 and 2, so obviously 1 at the back at the top, 2 at the top at the front, and then the second one down is, yeah, 3 and 4, um, yeah, it's very self-explanatory, so you're just going to go straight to the front, straight to the back here, uh, no drama. Uh, what you're going to need to do, you see the flight controller is now facing forward, so in the current flash which we have, which was for the 4-in-1 ESC, um, we have it spun 180, so in the configuration tab, I'll, I'll actually I'll show that right now, um, uh, in Better Flight Configurator you want to mark that to 0 instead of 180, um, other than that everything stays the same, and you are good to fly. Alright, so... First, we're going to go into Better Flight. This is, and then we will go to the configuration tab. Now, a few things you just want to check. You want to check that you got multi-shot here for your ESCs, and that your minimum's 1050, and max 1950. Uh, then we scan down. Come on. There we go. Oh, went a bit too far. There we go. So your would have been to 180 degrees. So you just want to flip that to zero. Um, Spectrum 2048. Yep, that should all be the same. And simply save and reboot. And that's it. You're good to go. That should be ready to fly now. Um, have any issues? Just get in touch with Rotorex support, and we'll help you out. Cool. Thanks.